So if you remember from my last video where we replaced the EMMC chip on this console, we were still experiencing the same issues. I ended up proceeding to factory reset this console and that was the wrong choice. Because when I proceeded to factory reset the console, the data on the EMMC that we flashed over to the new chip was still corrupted. So it essentially put it into a permanent soft brick. So that's when the Pico comes in that you see soldered in here. So there are some crazy awesome hacks and crazy awesome hackers and developers in the Wii U space that developed a mod chip that uh, is a firmware flashable to the Raspberry Pi. When you solder up the Raspberry Pi in this configuration, then you can run something called Diffuse. What Diffuse does is it actually glitches the main processor and runs some hacked custom code before the console officially boots. Once I broke down the doors with Diffuse and was able to get the keys to the mansion, so to speak, and restore the EMMC, now we officially have a working Wii U. But this does not go without saying, there is one person in specific that made this possible. While trying to go through defuse and the steps to actually get this working i had to join a nintendo homebrew discord that uh, i ended up meeting a fellow that i was actually following his guide online and he was actually in the discord willing to help ready to go and help me go through the debugging process with the raspberry pi that guy i'm talking about his name is laser 1026 and man was i just enamored and excited because he is incredible with the Wii U. He knows all about the hardware and all about the software and debugging, etc. So it made this entire process basically seamless. Also, if we could get more people to know about this project, hit that like button to help that algorithm spread this video to more people and hopefully we can fix more Wii U's. Now let's take a look at the Wii U console with the brand new EMMC chip. So the current state of affairs on my desk are uh, kind of crazy right now, but let's go ahead and hook this up. Almost forgot to hook up the disk drive. All right, let's plug it in and and turn it on. Okay, it's on. You got the disk drive doing its thing. And now, as you can see, the Wii U is connecting and working. And the original problem was it wouldn't go to the Mii Maker. So let's go ahead and launch Mii Maker or Mii Maker. I can't, I can't talk today. So the original problem is it would error when it goes to Mii Maker. And now it works. Now Mii Maker works. Not that I would really care too much about Mii Maker, but it works. And if you can see right there, there is our Kingston EMMC that we replaced. Dude, I am so excited. So I've come to this point where if you have a Wii U that is completely bricked, there is an option to save your Wii U. We can install the diffuse chip and actually get this console to glitch and boot and then save your console. So I want to say thanks to Lazar1026 or Laser, however you pronounce it, and all of the fellow people in the Nintendo Wii U hacking community that assisted with the hardware and the development of these mods and software to actually fix this console, you guys are amazing. So yeah, we did have the option to actually install an SD card, but I like to keep things as vanilla as possible. If I can just replace the flash chip with another flash chip and just keep the Wii U as original as possible, that's what I would prefer. But I, I mean, you know, to each their own. 